All right, this is a model analysis problem. We have a spring mass system, or mass spring system, with uh, two forcing functions, F1, F2. We're given the energy balance, two ODEs here, and the first thing we want to do is write them in matrix form. So for x double prime, we have x1 double prime and x2 double prime. Their values are m for the first ODE and 0 for x2. 0 and m1 and m for the second ODE. There isn't a x prime so we can skip that and we can do the x by itself. So I'm going to bring the constant k outside the matrix. For uh, x1 and x2 we have values 5 over 2, negative 3 over 2 for the first ODE. Second ODE we have 3 over 2 and 5 over 2. This is equal to the forcing functions F14 inputs, F1, F2. The first thing we want to do after this is write it as homogeneous in hom homogeneous form, so equal to zero. So we could do that by bringing down the constants M0, M0, 0, 0, M. And for the X double prime, we have X double prime 1 of H. The H subscript represents the homogeneous um, equation. X double prime 2 of H plus we bring the constants down, k, 5 over 2, negative 3 over 2, negative 3 over 2, and 5 over 2. In respect to x1 homogeneous, x2 homogeneous, and when it's homogeneous it means that it's equal to 0, so we set this equal to 0. Alright, so after this, the next step we want to do is solve for the eigenvalues and eigenvectors. So we want to solve for the lambda along with the two constants, x10 and x20, which is basically x1 and not x2 and not. So we could do this by saying that we want to set x1 and x2 to equal some constants x1 not, x2 not. In this case, this is the eigenvector. It's going to equal, or it's going to be multiplied by e to the lambda t. We don't have the x prime, so I'm going to do the x double prime next. We have x1 double prime and x2 double prime. Or, yeah, sorry. This is going to be equal to, again, some constant x1 naught and x2 naught. This, well, for the double prime, e to the lambda t, the second derivative of e to the lambda t is going to be lambda squared e to the lambda t. So what we can do now is we can take this equation for the x1 and x2, plug it into the ODE up here, and for the x double prime, we can plug that in as well. So we bring down the constants m0, 0m, because these are just constants, they have no actual value for, in respect to the derivative. We have, for the first part of x double prime, we have x1 naught and x2 naught, lambda squared. So we're going to replace the x double prime with x1, 0, x2, 0, lambda squared, e to the lambda t. This is added with k, a constant k times the matrix, 5 halves, negative 3 over 2, negative 3 over 2, and 5 over 2. The x1 and x2 are replaced with the x1 naught and x2 naught e to the lambda t. So x1 naught, x2 naught, e to the lambda t. Oh yeah, sorry about that, but these are this is still a homogeneous equation, so we want to put the h's in for the subscripts. It's kind of tedious, but it has to be done to keep the identity of what you're doing. So we have x1 not h, well, x2 not h. Come over here, we have x1 not h, x2 not h. Alright, so this was still equal to 0, 0. That's why it's homogeneous in the first place. So we can divide both sides by e to the lambda t to cancel these out. So if we divide by e to the lambda t, those both go away, and we're just, the identity is left the same. All right, so if you look here, we have x1 not h, x1 not h. So we have the same, um, we can say, variable, and we can actually add these two matrices together. So I want to multiply both matrices by the constants, or in this case, we have lambda squared outside, and we have k outside. If we multiply those in, it makes it a little bit simpler to solve for. So we have lambda squared m, 0, 0, lambda squared m. All I did was I multiplied the lambda squared into that matrix. So we have x1 not h, x2 not h. If I multiply the k inside, we have 5 over 2k. 
minus 3 over 2k minus 3 over 2k and 5 over 2k again multiply by x1 not h x2 not h equal to forcing function 0 0 and next we want to add these two matrices together so we, we can do that by saying multiply this the lambda squared m or not sorry multiply but add lambda squared m to this right here the 5 over 2k so we get lambda I shall make this matrix a little bit bigger we have lambda squared m plus this matrix over here 5 over 2k now we have a 0 so 0 plus negative 3 over 2k which is just negative 3 over 2k here we have 0 plus or minus negative 3 over 2k which is just negative 3 over 2k and we take the lambda squared m plus 5 over 2k again and this is all in respect to x1 not h and x2 not h equal to 0 over 0 so now we can try to solve for the lambda values to find the eigenvectors or sorry the eigenvalues initially and then we can use the eigenvalues to find the eigenvectors I will do that in the next video